Buenos dias. Good morning, guys. We are here in Guatemala. <laughs> Guatemala, in front of our in front. house. <laughs> So we are here in Guatemala City at the Plaza de Constitución and we have our lovely friends here, our guides. Hola, welcome to Guatemala City. This is our first breakfast in Guatemala. A bit late today. As you can see, everybody is having a similar stuff. Good morning. We are in Antigua, Guatemala. We arrived yesterday, but the weather was very bad, cloudy and foggy. Today it is looking sunnier. Finally, we can glimpse the beautiful peak of volcano de Agua. Central Park of Antigua. So we came to this place. It's called the Restaurant La Restaurant La Estancia in Antigua. Honestly, amazing environment. And these breakfasts are more or less the same price. I have a big piece of uh, meat. And Marina's steak. breakfast, yes. A lot of onion, Contains beans, a steak. and uh, guacamole. guacamole. Yeah, salsa, mine is bean, tomatoes, fried plantains. Beautifully prepared, by the way. The wishes of Marina was to visit a coffee plantation or, I don't know, factory. Yes. Gracias. Noticias en Radio France Internacional. Esta mañana se inició en Kyoto, Japón, la conferencia internacional sobre cambios climáticos. Tienen la difícil tarea de encontrar un acuerdo que permita luchar eficazmente contra el calentamiento progresivo del planeta. La magnitud y la gravedad de este reto planetario contrasta con el escepticismo que predomina en cuanto a los resultados de esta cumbre. Take like a... Around three days, and after that they will pack it and bring it to the next level, like to select it, to build it from this by machine vibration and select it by size, and yeah, it's ready to go and roasted, yeah, it's like roasted. <laughs> Mas enquanto o mundo continua parolando, o termômetro e a água vão subir. Então, como é que é esse belíssimo rio? Na verdade, você não pode ver o vídeo. Ah? Alejandro, Alejandro. Olha que é esse belíssimo rio. Flores. So we have been admitted to this local school here, which is not government uh, based, but uh, foundation based. And we have a lovely teacher here telling us a little bit of the school, introducing us. Convento La Recolección. It's a complex of unfinished churches and various ruins. Hello. 
After a very active two days, we are leaving Antigua, Guatemala, and we are heading to Quetzaltenango. Right, baby? Yeah. Parque Central de Xela. Parque Central de Xela. <laughs> so this is the city's central park. Only, uh, Only coffee internet. Uh -huh. So all the tourists were here because they need to ride, you know, to yeah, the yeah. This was the only place. Santa Maria. We started at 1.30 p.m. p.m. I am sorry. Marina is relying on her last bites of sneakers. So we successfully made it uh, all the way up to Santa Maria Volcano. Um, it was a hard hike but it was definitely worth it. I made a short time-lapse video of the sunrise. I bought this uh, watermelon looking uh, ice cream because it's hot today and it would be nice to finish up our lunch with this and Marina said it has the taste of lipstick what I add in my childhood from my mom or from my sister 100% it's just like uh, flashback and she's actually right it uh, really has a buenos dias uh, Incredibly artificial taste. Why, well, hey, it's at least cold. Happy Women's Day to all women. Um, Marina said that I am a very romantic person, so I invited her to this lovely romantic restaurant and we found amazing ceviche. And I'm drinking something very special that is called the huevos de palama. ¿Cuál es el nombre? Huevos y ceviches Telma. Telma. Sí. And I'm drinking something that is a special drink uh, with some fruit juice, tomato based fruit juice and eggs of turtle. Easy, papa. Feliz día de mujer. Ay, gracias. Gracias. We have been lucky enough to be invited to the home of the Guatemalan and we are going to have some very special dish today. Looks like some rice pilaf or something and something else cooking there and of course the tortillas. The tortillas. You cannot do with tortillas. ¿Qué es esto, mamá? Carne guisada. Tanto de pollo, arroz. Papá, delicious soup, <laughs> chicken soup. Okay. I call it the red soup. The red soup. Red soup. And it's my favorite. Good morning. Last day in Shala. So we are going to see this church. And after this, slowly we are going to San Pedro La Laguna at Lake Atitlan. It's very cold today as well. After a long and bumpy journey, we finally arrived to the Lake Atitlan, to San Pedro La Laguna. 
It's a bit colder than I expected, but I just finished swimming in the lake and it was really, really refreshing. It's very cloudy, foggy, gray. You can't really see even the mountains on the other side. The second day in at Lake Atitlan. It's quite disappointing to be honest. There's not even a single piece of sunlight. And we wanted to climb to Indian's nose this morning to observe the sunrise, but we had no chance. And it's gonna be the same for the next few days. So we're probably gonna leave one of the most picturesque places in Guatemala without having seen anything from these beautiful mountains. So at the end, in spite of the bad weather, we decided to hike up to Indian Snows. So we are going to that point of view on uh, Indian Nose. It looks amazing, actually. Magic place, what calls that? Pollo Campero. It was recommended by our friend, and it's like a fast food chain here in uh, Guatemala, and they're specialized for chicken. So I guess it's more or less the equivalent of uh, KFC in the US. Very delicious, really good, good quality chicken. You like it? Uh, you cannot really make it wrong, right? For me, it's first time, first time. Good one. We are in Panahacho. <coughs> The uh, chicken at uh, Pollo Campero was really nice and crispy. Tomorrow we are heading to El Paradon, yes, on the beach, on the Pacific coast. Finally some nice and warm weather. So we are back to Antigua, Guatemala and two more hours to the beach. We didn't make a video last night because we had to wake up very early this morning. Uh, we arrived to El Paradon around 2 p.m. We just ordered half a kilo of shrimps and we already tried the ocean. Beautiful, warm, very nice place. Beautiful guys. In this time.
just to give you a clue of what prices you can expect in Guatemala. This is a local eatery, uh, very close to the beach. And we ordered a simple veggie pasta and a shrimp pasta for Marina, plus two Cokes. And this is 65 quetzales, which is about 8.3 US dollars and less than eight francs. Swiss eight francs. Swiss francs. This is probably the cheapest you can ever get and the pasta is good enough. So I am here at the northern end of El Parador. There is the Pacific Ocean and on my right there's a river and it's being separated only by the narrow land strip, actually just one single road. Today is our last day in El Paredon. And frankly, an amazing garden. I think if paradise can be described the best possible way, to me, it would probably look like this garden. Truly amazing. This is our last day at uh, Paradon and we really really love this. We wish we could begin every day in our life like this. Sunrise Hostel and it's lovely <laughs> owner. How do you feel in the jungle? Amazing, amazing. You don't have uh, electricity, so you couldn't use your phone, and I'm super happy for that. And I couldn't also use my credit card to pay for the room, which I'm happy for. <laughs> <laughs> so we arrived in a beautiful place, El Portal. Um, very quiet place, there is no electricity, only between 6 and 10 to charge your phone and everything. So now we are super tight, we listen to this music, 
It is like 9.30, something like that, 9.40. We are hoping that it will finish soon. We are sure that it will finish soon. But yeah, tomorrow we have an intensive day. Last day at Sambuk Champire. We are going to do some almost full day tour. We start with visiting a cave. up to the mountain of Samuk Champe. I'm sweating like uh, two horses, but I'm not sweating the only one. Like raindrops. Yeah. <laughs> Samu Champa a few minutes ago came to Langquin for our transfer and we are heading to Guatemala City. This is our last day in Guatemala City and in Guatemala. We will visit a few museums, see our friends for the last time and discover the reality. Hopefully we will not get into any trouble. Better feels better, a bit spicy, and the usual tortillas with the refried bean spread, super for breakfast. We are here at this structure that is called the Torre the Reformador, which looks like an unfinished uh, Eiffel Tower in Paris, here in Guatemala City. The city is surprisingly clean and uh, actually quite well organized. Guatemala trip is coming to its very last chapter as we are soon entering our home in Switzerland after well, about a 20 hour journey to El Salvador and Spain and we are quite tired, hungry 
and sleepy. Buenos dias. Buenos dias. <laughs> we would like to give you a quick review of uh, Guatemala and our Guatemalan trip. Several days after the trip ended, we found Guatemala as an amazing country, uh, and we have met well above the average friendly people, helpful people, interesting people during our journey. About the country itself, um, it is much bigger than it looks like, especially when it comes to traveling inland. Um, you can count with very long um, travel times. Guatemala is chilly occasionally. I have to say that the big cities such as Guatemala City, Antigua, uh, especially Quetzaltenango, can experience chilly, by certain definitions, even cold temperatures at night. The other thing that surprised us a little bit is Guatemala is not necessarily a budget destination anymore. If you are on a budget trip, you can expect spending about $100 per two uh, per day for two people, and that includes pretty much everything. At least $400 is needed for one person to survive one week in Guatemala as a tourist. We were still surprised a little bit about uh, about uh, how expensive the country can be. Until the next time, see you all. Thank you. Adios.